Okay, welcome back. This is uh, D-Man bringing you Dwarf Fortress tutorials. So, as you can see, uh, the metal industry is now starting to get in the way. Uh, we've got plenty of jobs lined up. If you go to Job Manager, we can. We, we've, I've, I've lined up basically a bunch of armor, etc. And to do this, I'm pretty much going to keep my uh, my wood burners. I've, I've now built four wood burners, and we're going to keep them all churning out charcoal. Uh, we may need to assign a couple more. Uh, wood burners to do that, um, but that's fine. We kind of want charcoal going 24/7, and then we want to get rid of all our hematite, etc. We want to just get it all down to iron because we can always mine more of it. So we want to get as much out as possible now. Um, I've also placed, uh, or we won't go into that yet, because I, I, I'm getting around to starting the cloth industry. Uh, the leather work is also starting to produce a bunch of leather items because uh, leather's always kind of handy. And we are looking at probably having some archers soon. You can see I've pulled a lot of wood in. Keep, keep gathering wood as much as you can. I'm uh, storing it. You don't need to store wood, really. Um, however, it is now the winter, as you can see here. And so the lake has frozen once again. However, our, uh, our well is also frozen because I underestimate just how damn cold it's going to get here. So that has not worked. We have not gone deep enough to, uh, to keep it warm. Uh, keep keep the water warm so it just prevents it from freezing so it's we've not gone deep enough with that well I've also channeled out this well and dug out you can see a bit more of the area if you remember the map however what I will show you is the underground farming we did which is now overground farming we covered over that land is still perfectly fine it's still dense grass and there it is it's just grass so in actual fact what we've done is basically secured the crops to go grow for all round, all weather round. I'm not too sure whether it's actually um, affected the, we the the berries themselves, whether that's kind of an issue. I don't know because they they seem to have all withered, despite the fact these are came growing. But well, whether that's just my farmers going too slow, I'm not too sure whether that's that's actually affected the crop. I've also uh, planted a another another load of seeds. But yeah, I, I was kind of hoping it would uh, spread across, but I don't think it is going to. Um, that's not really happening. So I, I was wondering if it could spread across, where it could cheat and do it, just to open up one little spot and let it spread. But it doesn't seem to be doing that, so... That's uh, not to worry, it was just me experimenting. Um, so really what you could do, I mean, if you really wanted to have a big underground farm and your animals were completely clear, and you didn't want to be overground at all, you could open up a great big area, just channel it all out and then cover once it's all grown up just cover it all straight over and then you know you're happy you, you've got a big underground farm and away you go uh, as it is the land is defrosting so what I've done is since we've got a lot of uh, units here um, a lot of, lot of animals I've built two farmer workshops here on the outside um, and all I've simply done is set them basically uh, once you build the animal workshops it's very easy really, you can just add the task and there's only a few things you can do and you just simply milk a, chi milk a creature so one will be me milking creatures the other one can make cheese and just put them both on repeat and they'll be bringing the the milk and the cheese etc to them uh, if you really want to you can store the food obviously next to it which would make sense if you want to uh, keep, keep milking the cheese as it were milking the cheese uh, making the cheese and again just we can remove everything we don't want um, uh, we don't want that we actually do want what's the milk stored under I don't believe it's we we don't want the cheese it's actually the milk we want the milk is down here isn't it it's extract of animal there it is so we just want extract of animal in this which means the milk will be stored up there um, and the farmer will uh, make his cheese right next to it so he's gonna collect them up there, you gotta drag the animal in with a bucket and then stick it in there, the rock pots are just coming now and he'll uh, make the cheese there and the cheese will get taken straight down to our lower levels and it should go down into here, in fact I believe I am storing cheese uh, yes I am, cheese animal, there we go so the cheese will get down there, so there we go, we have another food source pretty straightforward um, and simple as that uh, what else did I want to show you uh, I was I've been you can see I've let the game go a little bit I was thinking of various things to do uh, I've had the trader come along I can't actually make bones 
quick enough at the moment and my ducklings are getting close to being grown. You can see there's a big gaggle of them still here. This is when you'll get loads of ducklings. Um, I kind of want them to go full grown. I'm also uh, digging out an exploratory area. So what I plan to do here is start going downwards. Uh, I'm going to dig outwards and I'm just going to dig this big area and start going down the levels. Uh, slowly edging my way down deeper and deeper and deeper until I hit uh, possibly the edge of a cavern or basically some sort of nice rock uh, is what I'm looking for. Failing that I'm going to get myself lots of rocks and lots of hematite so on the way. So, And uh, I've actually done it, you know, it's the other side of the bridge so if really uh, the shit hits the fan I can just pull that bridge up and we're safe and secure again. Uh, the other side of the river. Uh, I've expanded our... Uh, uh, I am not expanding the meeting hall. I will be doing that now because you can see I've got 30 idlers in the top right hand corner. Uh, the bedrooms are pretty much now all equipped with chests, cabinets, um, and generally the dwarf happiness. Um, if I was to look at, say, dwarf fortress, uh, dwarf therapist, I keep calling it dwarf fortress, dwarf therapist, the general happiness is pretty damn high. Uh, ironically, I think the most the, the people that are most unhappy are my soldiers I believe. Let's have a look. Yes, it's actually the soldiers. They're the ones that are most unhappy. That's probably because I've had them training non-stop so they're probably not happy about that but nevertheless their skills are showing because they're all starting to begin, become talented now as they uh, continue to train up. I have had a couple of Marks Dwarfs come through though so what I will do is set up a squad uh, of archers like I said but for now I'm going to keep them as hunters because they actually train up pretty damn well as hunters uh, if you've got some some uh, enough things for them to hunt on the map which I don't know if I do have uh, really anything out there that can be that can be hunted there's there's really only turkey hens that they could they could possibly hunt which is not so great so yeah I've not really got too much for them to do so that's maybe something you could think about um, or we could set them up to train uh, set them up barracks so I'm gonna go build them a barracks and give them an area to do it um, which is pretty much straightforward I don't want to uh, ramble on too long uh, although I you know as much as it is becoming a slowly becoming a let's play I'm gonna try and keep it down to the bare bones and uh, I'll set up so we can do some beekeeping perhaps next so uh, stay tuned and I'll be back in just a few moments Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought it's, it's, sh it's, it was going to happen, and it may even happen again in a second. If I unpause it, it may continue happening. As was the case, and I did mention earlier, the ice was melting, you there, this workshop's mine and now. well, we've lost two dwarves. Two brave dwarves. There they are, they've drowned. Unfortunately, one of them was one of my very first dwarves. He was a legendary miner and he's died carrying logs as well as his friend or whoever the hell it was. They died carrying logs because they drowned. How foolish. So what we need to do is build some coffins. Um, it's the only way forward. It's the only thing we can do really to work uh, to get around this and frankly I don't know how we're other than when it freezes over digging out there uh, corpses again oh he's begun his mysterious construction this guy um, I don't know what he's producing oh he's is it who is it that's actually doing the construction oh it's this guy here he's a gem cutter oh hopefully he'll come out with some uh, some top gems what is he at the moment let's have a look at his uh, general he is a, oh, he's a novice, novice gem cutter. I'll be very happy if he comes out as a legendary gem cutter. Uh, but unfortunately, we've lost people. So what do we need to do? We need to go to the jobs and the manager. And we need to make a new order for some rock coffins. Otherwise, they will haunt you. Um, we need to make an area for these coffins as well. <laughs> as I hiccup. So let's, let's go down a level. Is it really the only way I can do it? And... Uh, begin his uh, his mining friends will have to come down and, and dig out his own coffin for the legendary miner that was so all you need to do is uh, build a coffin if you can't actually get to the body you uh, 
need to engrave a statue, I believe, or uh, I'll tell you exactly what it is in a moment because I'll go up and uh, see it. I need to engrave a tombstone or something like that. I think it might be a tombstone, uh, and then it'll stop stop haunting you. Uh, I believe they're haunting me, or they they're going to begin haunting me. Either way. Uh, I'm actually going to do my little coffin it's just like I've done a normal bedroom, so you know the layout by now. It's pretty straightforward. And fail. Oh, good god. Oh, good lord. Failing hard. Don't dig it out, please. I need to remove those two. So what we're going to do is we're going to put coffins in each of these and make them tombs. Because we don't want to lose too many dwarves. It's a sad day. A sad, sad day for my dwarves. Um, yeah, if if you can't actually get to the body, I believe, you can go to your Crafts Dwarves workshop. and it, It's under... Uh, uh, there it is. Engraved Memorial Slab. So we may just do that. There we go. You can select which one. Uh, which one you want it for. That's actually the Etin. So you could engrave a memorial slab for the Etin if you really wanted to. Uh, but it's the two miners we're worried about. But all they were doing was carrying wood. They died. There wasn't anything gallant and that dog's d d risking their own lives. You know, you tell these kids don't go on the ice while it's melting. That they don't listen. An artifact has been completed. <laughs> It will be engraved for years to Jim come has created walls. something, I a shawl scepter. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing him become, becoming a legend. He goes to just been a mysterious... Boo! It must be. I think he just withdrew from society or was uh, possessed. It wasn't the... I think it's the fame mood that makes it legendary. Which is a shame. Oh well. We don't actually have a decent gem cutter yet, so which is why I've not really done the gem industry uh, too much. But there it is, there is two corpses, and we may need to uh, engrave a uh, stone if we can't actually fish them out uh, too soon. In fact, I, I'm almost certain I'm going to have to, because I don't think I'm going to be able to retrieve those corpses. But what we'll do... Oh, good lord, there's another one drowned. It's the fisherman. The fisherman's drowned now. The, 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 what? Uh, you can't... <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it other than wall it over. I could have... You know, I suppose it's it's my own damn fault for not putting an entrance over here and making them go over the bridge and they're trying to make the shortest route. Oh, good God. I've just lost three dwarves to water, to drowning. That's how you can get rid of your enemies as well, by the way. You can have a, a bridge across there, withdraw the bridge, and they'll drown. And that's as easy as it is for drowning. Uh, meanwhile, this milking and cheesing malarkey uh, is continuing. They are milking the creatures and lining them up and we could also shear them as well you can do the same sort of thing you can do it at the same location you can shear the creature you can spin the thread etc so you could have a a process of uh, one milks and then you shear afterwards and then over here you you do one cheese and then the next one would spin a thread so and you just repeat it like that it's pretty straightforward um, I could do it probably uh, keeping the wool maybe somewhere around here as well that uh, is is sheared off the creature just so it doesn't get lost um, yeah so anyway let's go back down to the coffins they must have dug it out by now there it is so we're gonna build a coffin so B and it is around here somewhere as a it's not called a coffin it's called a burial receptacle I believe if I just whiz past it it's at the top somewhere, isn't it? There we go. Burial receptacle N. So B and N, and that will be where the burial receptacle will be. Uh, if you really wanted to... Oh, I've just built a bed. I don't want to build a bed. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some people would class it as a bed. We could have vampires. In fact, they are putting... I believe Toadie is putting some sort of necromancer-style uh, thing into the game. So what the hell? I'm sure it'll probably come soon. And we're also going to build doors. We're going to make them proper tombs. Uh, just below the bedrooms as well. Not that that's gloomy or anything. There we go. And some burial chambers. And all you do is once they're built, uh, hopefully our guy will come whizzing down and build them up. There he is. So he builds his, uh, puts his coffin in there. And now we just want to say use for burial. Yes. We could make it a tomb if you really wanted to. So 
there's the tomb and you assign its owner well you can do that for when uh, you get um, like a mayor etc or a higher higher uh, person that, that you can use it but for now we're not going to uh, we're not bothering I don't oh. no not another one ambush oh crap okay let's go back down to our dwarves again quickly let's go back down to the burial and we'll deal with the ambush in a moment so um, free tomb I believe we want to use and I just want to use it for burial so uh, we're not going to allow pets we're just going to have citizens and uh, our uh, person's going to come along and hopefully maybe pluck those fateful fateful dwarves out of the river and we'll just have all those as little burial chambers and now I need to go deal with the ambush so uh, I'll pause it once again and I'll have a look at what this ambush is going to bring looks like they're, oh, there they are I can see them all oh good lord look at that An ambush they're right next to the guy he's dead you're dead son you're not coming out of this one alive he's uh, carrying his fish but he's not getting out of there how many have we got we've got one two three four five six seven eight um, if we have a look at them what are they what are they packing there's a goblin lasher, goblin spearman, I think they're all goblin spearmen which actually works well, I think I've got lots of mace dwarves well eight means they're probably going to get through the traps but we'll see uh, I'm going to move my army to be positioned um, and let's action the burrows so uh, let's go to the alerts, military alerts we're under attack we need to tell our civilians we're under attack so they'll immediately get into the position and I'm also going to move my military so we want the squads S the tin paddles and we want to move them and we want them all to be here stood in the doorway ready and waiting so we're going to station them there so should and pause the game and that's what should happen that dwarf got immediately slaughtered pull into position I need to be careful that there's no other dwarves returning which there is now the question is do I go out and face them no I don't uh, I think our dwarves should run away our brave dwarves why have I only got two dwarves here where's my military gone stage S where are the rest of my military why have I only got two military this is this is worrying me why have I only got two military I have six six military all here now, on what schedule are they on? Well, they're not on any schedule at the moment. Uh, they're on active training. So why have I only got two military people stood here? Where have the rest, rest of the pussies run off to? There's, there's one. There they come. Oh, they're going out to face them. Good lord, that's that slaughter. They've they've run out, and that that's the dwarf's dead. Oh dear, that that did not end well, and they they they're, they're all being killed. They're going to run in. Hopefully, they're going to get all get caught in the traps. Yes, <laughs> the traps win. The dwarfs lose. Well, that didn't wasn't successful, was it? That was not successful at all. Uh, meanwhile, I can see there's there's people being struck down here, there, and everywhere. So I'm guessing there's still a bunch of ambushes around the map somewhere. Uh, I don't know where, but it looks like my dwarves have died off. Oh, there he is. He's going to get run straight into a trap. So I guess the traps have worked. Has come. And it gently tells me springtime has come. Despite the fact I've just lost my military. <laughs> well, that's not worked out so well, has it? And that's the way it goes in Dwarf Fortress. I, d I didn't want them to run out. I've got to be honest. I wanted them to stay stationed. So, oh well. Let's go back to our military and alerts. Let's tell them to go back inactive. And uh, have we got anything left in this squad? Who's left? Uh, it says zero. I think they're all dead. The whole squad is dead. All six of them wiped out. So all that, all that hours of training now just, just gone down the drain. And now I'm down to 50 dwarves. We've just, we've just lost quite a few dwarves in that, uh, in that area. Oh, look, so they're still at peace. But uh, oh well, we've had it, we've had it quite for a while. So I guess it was only, only fitting that eventually it happened. They, didn't, they didn't last long at all, did they? I've got to be honest. It was a pretty poor showing from uh, my dwarves. You can actually... Uh, a woodworker 
it's the silver spear. So the woodworker had actually had a good go at that goblin. The woodworker went down though, but he, I think he took a goblin with him. That woodworker. You can you can look through these reports. There's there's lots of them, but the long and short of it is, I lost six dwarves, and they didn't really have a chance. What sort of items were they carrying? Because I'm intrigued what these dwarves had on them. Um, did we even take one down? Did we kill one at all? Any glory from it other than the fact that they're all dead? Uh, oh look, he had the blue peafowl high leather boots on. The, the item. What's there? That's that's a pool of blood from the pair of them. There's a bronze scimitar. His weapon was dropped there. There's another dead dwarf here. He didn't last long at all. Dead dwarf there. So we've got gob goblin in the cage. We managed to catch this goblin. Let's have a look at the goblin. Medium-sized humanoid. So what we need to do? We need to get the get the items off here. Superior quality goblin cage. It's a good job. It's superior quality. It's it's holding that goblin. Ah, <sighs> well, let's regroup ourselves and uh. I'll just realign, get a few more military set up, get some trade traps set up, and then I'll uh, try and show you what we do with these goblin cages. Normally, I'd set up like an arena that I can take the goblins to and uh, release them and let our dwarfs beat on the unarmed goblins. You need to take all the weapons off them, but as it is, I don't actually have any military to do that with, so I just need to put them somewhere. But the worrying thing is that if I move these traps, it, it sometimes can actually release the trap as well, release the goblin as well. And I got a feeling if I release one, he's just going to run right through the whole damn place, isn't he? Look, there's a there's, there's a corpse in the lake. There's corpses in the river. It's a good job I just made those six tombs. I'm going to need to go and make a load more. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This <laughs> only just happened, and I'm going to have a cleanup operation.